Hello everybody, that is here. Very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. Uh, today video will be not about water cooling. I actually was fixing my laptop thermals. And this is usually something I do uh, from the very beginning, but uh, last year was a little bit all screwed up. And when I got my uh, XPS 15, I just didn't have a time to deal about it, so I, I just put more memory and that was it. But recently I started getting into the problem that laptop basically kicking its fans as soon as I just started up. So I just literally launched my email, start downloading emails, the fans going full speed, I'm checking my temperatures and uh, even if laptop just sitting doing nothing it's it's already i think like 70 degrees or something like this actually i i made a video but uh, uh, i already forgot what the numbers was and uh, so it's very very high close to 80 almost and um, when i tried to put it on a stress test oh my god it just took me 10 seconds CPU went into the throttle because it hit 100 degrees. So essentially, thermal is complete crap. And that's something I already spoke before that I wouldn't say that thermal pods and thermal paste used uh, in Dell product is is particularly like a piece of crap. It just they put something which is uh, satisfy minimal minimal operational requirements, right? So. It works, but nothing special. And uh, after some time, it actually doesn't work as well. When I open up, I, I have no complaints about installation. All thermal pods was properly installed, properly small pressurized, which is required. Uh, thermal paste also was applied properly. It just was hard as a rock, but other than that, it was fine. So I decided that I do what I supposed to do from the very beginning and put my own thermal paste and my own thermal pads. For the memory pads, my brand to go is usually Fuji Poly. This is a Japanese company specializing in, in thermal solutions. I always use them with excellent results. All my builds and upgrades such as laptops. I had to use three sizes for this particular upgrade. 1.5 millimeter, 1 millimeter and 0.5 millimeter. For 0.5 and 1 millimeters, I used X series, which is 17 MKW, and for 1.5 millimeter, I used a GR80, which is 13 MKW rating. So it's a more expensive ones, but I would say that because it's my hobby, I don't want to go with the cheap version. And for the thermal paste. I decided to try for the first time Thermal Grizzly Extreme series of the Thermal Paste. I had a little bit trouble applying it to be honest. It was um, not very liquidy if you will and um, so spreading was a little bit challenging but uh, this is a new, new type of the product that so you see like pink color. And uh, so I'm not sure if maybe paste uh, dry up a little bit because of the container. It's uh, not, not like perfect, um, not a sealed as syringe type, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I, I use that. Took me two times to apply. First time I just murder it, uh, so, so I have to wipe it out. And um, second time I applied it properly. Also, I use the Arctic Silver solutions to clean all surfaces. I attended Fuji Poly seminar and they actually said that the surface preparation is quite critical because most of the losses for thermal transfer are happening on where the heat sink meeting thermal material. So it's important to keep it clean. So this time around, I actually took some time and I clean it. Speaking about results, very satisfied. Now the doing nothing. I have about 46, 48 degrees. So it's a significant drop from what I had. 
when I launched stress test, I was pretty sure that I still will hit 100 degrees, but to my surprise, it was hovering between 86, uh, like hit 90 a couple times, but mostly was 86, 87 degrees, and it's kind of stabilized on that level. So essentially, I under the load, I dropped 10 degrees by fixing or replacing all my thermal materials, and uh, on doing nothing, it looked like for doing nothing, the drop is more significant. Uh, around 30 degrees which is a little bit surprising for me because in the past I last Dell laptop I upgraded I have a drop about 15 degrees uh, overall but uh, this time it seems like a gap a little bit better very happy now fans stop kicking in with just opening laptop and starting browser which is <laughs> which is nice I wouldn't say that particularly for XPS fans very noisy but still you can hear it and it's more like mentally uh, annoying than actually annoying with the sound but nevertheless happy with the change I would recommend uh, again if you guys have a laptop that is noisy consider to look into uh, repasting and maybe put uh, better thermal parts on it not necessarily go to very expensive ones, but I guarantee you, if you go like medium range, 6 uh, MKW parts, it will be probably double better than the one that goes into the system by, by default. I'm, I'm that sure that it will be either one or three MKW that they used by default. So you win. And it's not very difficult. As you, as you saw, um, I made a little bit video it literally like just couple screws. I remove fans just to blow them with compressed air, but it wasn't even necessary. It's just four screws he's in coming out, and then it's more work of cutting thermal parts and cleaning, but uh, like all thermal paste than actually assembling the assembly computer. So yeah, good results. Happy what I did. Hopefully, it will be helpful information for you, maybe help you as well, as it helped me. See you soon!